We would like to present to you a MagnetRack Adaptive Positioning System. The MagnetRack Adaptive method has many key advantages over the methods of fixed marking. The MagnetRack Adaptive method is mainly designed for continuous long-distance positioning of complex technological devices. Let's consider the MagnetRack adaptive technology using an example of one-dimensional positioning of an overhead crane along the workshop. For example, we shall consider Baloof BTL transducer with the length of 4 and 500 mm and set of 15 3-magnet interval markers, each of them having unique signatures. Let's assume that the interval markers are 500 mm in size. Learn more about interval markers in a special video on our channel. Let's place 10 interval markers on a positioning track. We will use the rest 5 later to demonstrate the advantages of the MagnetRack adaptive method. Let's arrange markers at the railway in any sequence and at the user-defined intervals. The distance between two neighboring markers is limited by only two conditions. Distance between adjacent ends of the interval markers should not be less than the size of the marker, i.e. 500 mm, and the distance between opposite ends of the markers should not exceed the measurement length of the transducer, i.e. 4 and 500 mm. When we first start the system, let's place Baloof BTL transducer over any of the interval markers, for example, over the first one, and indicate the start coordinate, for instance, let it be zero. Once this is done, the system will be ready for use. When the transducer starts moving over the magnetic marking, MagnetRack Adaptive System automatically detects the signatures of the interval markers, calculates the distances between them, determines the obsolete coordinates, and enters the array of interval markers into the non-volatile controller memory with reference to the marker's coordinates. If the power supply is switched off and then again switched on, MagnetRack Adaptive System will position the device by the array of markers positions in space created by the system itself. We can supply two versions of the MagnetRack Adaptive System. When working with a single adaptation version, the system operator has to clear the array of interval markers, turn the adaptive mode on, run the device and transducer over the entire magnetic marking track, and then turn the adaptive mode off. This process is called the system initialization. After initialization, the system switches to the absolute coordinate display mode. If the magnetic marking is changed, the operator has to perform system reinitialization. The continuous adaptation version provides much more opportunities. In this mode, the MagnetRack adaptive system continuously monitors the changes in magnetic marking and modifies the array of markers positions in the controller memory without stopping positioning for maximum flexibility and fault tolerance. For example, if the new interval markers are added inside or outside the current marking, the system will automatically put them into the marker array, which allows expanding the positioning area or dynamically build the fault-tolerant systems without stopping positioning. We will tell you more about those features later. The continuous adaptation system also continues to display the device absolute coordinate in the following cases. When there is no intermediate interval marker, provided that the above-mentioned track marking conditions are not violated, intervals between the remaining markers should be more than the marker length and less than the transducer length. When the interval marker changes its position within magnetic marking, When there are duplicates of the interval markers on track marking, provided that the markers with the same signatures are separated by a distance more than a transducer measurement length.
In all of these cases, the MagnaTrack continuous adaptation system will dynamically change the marker array in the controller memory, providing reliable positioning with maximum fault tolerance, yet informing the operator about all the changes that occurred. If the existing marker changes its position, or if there are any duplicates, the system will continue to work until the positioning system is restarted after having powered down and up again the transducer and controller. The MagnaTrack adaptive method is designed to provide maximum reliability, fault tolerance and survivability of the positioning system under actual operating conditions as well as flexibility and ease during the system installation, configuration and maintenance. The adaptive positioning method has a number of important advantages. In this video, we will only focus on the key advantages of the method. The first, simplification of construction and installation works as well as startup and service during the system installation. In general, it's very difficult to arrange the interval markers along the positioning track in the predetermined fixed zones of the workshop. Installation of the marker can be complicated due to the secondary devices, features of the rail beam, as well as pipes, cables, etc. The MagnaTrack adaptive method handles such obstructions easily if their length don't exceed the length of Baluv BTL transducer. You can place one interval marker before the obstruction and another one after it, which allows magnetic marking to bypass a difficult zone. In other words, the marking can be adapted to the workshop conditions. The second, high accuracy of positioning. Sometimes it's extremely difficult to place the interval marker in the workshop in a predetermined position with high accuracy, for example, a one millimeter. Moreover, it takes a lot of time. The adaptive method allows random placement of the interval markers, provided that the requirements for maximum and minimum intervals are satisfied between the neighboring markers and they are arranged within the contact zone of the transducer, being essentially the high-precision magnetic scale. During initialization, Baluv BTL transducer calculates the distance between the markers with highest possible accuracy to the micrometer. In other words, magnetostrictive transducer marks the positioning track with high accuracy and fully automatically. The third, simplicity of service and maintenance. If using the fixed static magnetic marking, where each marker is fixed to a predetermined coordinate, the service kit must contain a complete set of interval markers as they are not interchangeable. But if any interval marker of the adaptive system breaks down, it can be replaced with any interval marker from the service kit, which contains only the markers with the unique signature. The track also consists of only the markers with unique signatures. Moreover, an interval marker from the service kit can be installed only approximately to the position of the broken marker. The system automatically adjusts the table of markers positions in the controller, memory adding a new marker. It's performed without stopping the positioning system. This being said, the repair kit with just 10 or 15 percent of the total number of the track markers ensures system protection at an incapable level. Clearly, this is a cost-effective solution. The fourth Flexible building of fault-tolerant systems. In order to ensure the fault tolerance of positioning system, the redundant interval markers can be placed in the positioning critical zones of the workshop. For example, you can place three interval markers along the measurement length of the transducer. Then, if any of them breaks down, the system can continue positioning, informing an operator about lost or damaged marker. The remaining zones of the workshop can contain the interval marker in quantity minimally sufficient for positioning. These technological flexibilities save significant sums of money for building the fault-tolerant systems. Experts in patent law acknowledged that the adaptive positioning algorithm meets the requirements for an invention. A corresponding patent application has been submitted. 